Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am basically going to be doing a get to know me tag. Um, and I'll be eating while doing that because firstly, I haven't eaten today. And yeah, doing junk food. And because I mean, it's a lockdown guys. So we gotta do what we gotta do. So um, what I'll be eating, I'll be, I have some chicken nuggets here with the jalapeno sauce. I've got the jalapeno double cheese burger or something and then i've got um a coke zero with ice and then i've got some fries there okay so guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and help me um help me grow this channel cool see let's get started all right so i've got some questions off the internet and i've got them in front of me here um they're not very, they're not naughty questions or anything like that because I'm a decent human, you know, so I I, I chose like simple questions. Um, so the first question is, where did you grow up? So I grew up in between Cape Town and Durban. So part of my primary school, I attended it in Durban and then, wait, Cape Town first and then Durban. And then I came back to Cape Town for part of high school. So that's where I grew up. So basically between two cities. And the next question is, where do you currently live? I currently live in Deep River, southern suburbs, in the Western Cape, Cape Town. <clears throat> um, that's where I bought my house. <laughs> my own house, my own home. So um, who is your first best friend? I think my first best friend would be Tobela. Tobela Meto in primary. We were primary. Well, according to me, we were best friends in primary school. You never know these days because people have different best friends, guys, and you never know if you were the best friend or not. So for me, it was Tobela in primary school. How tall are you? I don't know. Um. I think I'm 1.85 meters tall. 1.85, 1.86, I'm not sure. Um, but those who know me, if you are 1.8 and you're taller than me, then clearly you taller than me. But like, I think I'm 1.85. Mm. The next question is, do you prefer dogs or cats? I prefer dogs, honestly, because dogs are just like cuddle cuddlesome and you can like play with them and stuff. Cats don't really like, um, you know, being held and all of those things. And I love holding things and, you know, showing love in that form. So definitely dogs. Mm. Mm. This, is, this actually slaps. Um... Funniest moment throughout high school. I think the funniest moments in high school for me were always in Afrikaans class. Guys, if I tell you that all the black kids, whenever it was the Afrikaans lesson, would literally just, either when it was time for them to do orals, we would just literally mix English and Afrikaans <laughs> during orals. <laughs> and whenever we were required to answer any essay questions or any, I mean essay questions or comprehens comprehension questions we would literally find the one word that we see in the question and we would take that entire line and put it in as the answer so like those for me were the funniest because I knew every black or majority of the black kids who did Afrikaans at my school didn't know Afrikaans <laughs> And how we passed it for me is like remarkable, you know, like, yeah, guys. <laughs> what year were you born? I'm 25. So um, I was born in the year 1995. Um, yeah, I'm a born free. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you in or have you gone to college? Both. So, I've gone to college, studied business management, and now I'm doing international relations. So, yeah, both. 
Um, what is your favorite drink? Are we talking alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Um, okay. So my favorite non-alcoholic drink would be apple juice. That's my favorite non-alcoholic drink. And my favorite alcoholic drink, child. <laughs> It has to be gin and tonic. Yo, guys, I'm a closey person. So gin and tonic for me is like fire. So it, ha it has to be gin and tonic. Like, there's one thing. Wherever you go, whatever you want to see, if you want to see me happy, either at Groove or at, like, your dinner party or whatever, please have gin and tonic because that's what I enjoy the most. Gin and tonic is fire. Yo, it's fire. Um, what is your spirit animal and why? Hmm. Also, that's a weird question because I was, <laughs> I'm a song because, so I might think, you know, like the spirit animal that I know I incline with in terms of spirituality. Um, and what I want my spirit animal to be are totally two different things, right? So, so my, my spirit animal, according to, okay, let's just not even make it that deep, actually, let's keep it simple. So my, my, my spirit animal, like me as Otabi, so is definitely Bubesi, the lion. Firstly, because, like, ugh, I don't know, like, I'm just, like, crazy, dude. Like, I, I think I'm passionate. Um, are lions even passionate? So I think it's a lion, dude, just because, like, I'm a go-getter. I'm a hunter. If I want something, I go for it, no matter what it takes. And... I'm also quite calm when there's a need for me to be calm. Um, I enjoy relaxed times or like chilled moments. But when it's time for me to go for something, I definitely go out of my way to achieve it. So that's why I would say the lion is definitely my spirit animal. Because especially the male lion, because they only hunt food when they're like really angry. And, you know, because become lazy after a love chill so that's another reason you're wearing perfume what scent is it i'm not sure if i'm wearing it no i'm not wearing any perfume today i mean it's locked down dude what am i gonna wear perfume for but um i i usually wear this this it's very affordable like absolutely i think it's about 300 trend that bottle i mean i'm not rich guys um it's i forgot what it's called but it, I buy it from Clicks. It's it, it smells very light. It's nothing too heavy. It doesn't smell very manly. It's very sweet. It's a very yeah. It's a very cool scent, guys. Yeah. Um, tea or coffee? Definitely a coffee person. Over and above everything, I can have coffee three or four times a day. Right now I can't though. I'm not allowed to. But coffee definitely. Any day, any time, let me know and I'll have coffee with you, dude. Like, coffee is my thing. What are your life goals? So, I've got I've got a couple. I've achieved a lot of them. Well, not a lot of them. Let me not exaggerate. Jesus. But I've, I've achieved about 30% of them. Um, But those that are remaining right now is to help my mom finish her house. So we are currently building our house in the Eastern Cape. And I want to help my mom finish that house so that whenever we go to the Eastern Cape, we we'll visit her house instead of her family home. And because it just allows us to, it gives, it gives us a sense of freedom. Um, my other life goals are to become a consultant in IT one day or in communication or in project management because 
that's where the money is at right now um and my other life goal essentially is just to retire at 40 dude own a lot of property travel get married have no kids because <laughs> kids oh, get this and have no kids so yeah what sports do you play or have you played i'm just gonna you know so dude i've played tennis um i've played rugby believe it or not i've played soccer i've done gymnastics i've done judo um i don't want to say swimming because Every bit, it was compulsive for everybody to do swimming unless you were like, what's the fear of water again? Unless you had a water, uh, a phobia for water, but like we were forced to do swimming at school. So that I did. Um, have, have any books you read that, have any books you read changed your life? I'm just trying to think. I don't know, dude. Like, I, I don't think there are any books I've read that changed my life. Um, I really can't think of anything. No, I don't think there's any books that I've, I've read that changed my life. I mean, maybe there there, there were books that have influenced me. For a certain period but not like overall changed my life no what is your favorite movie guys i'm not a movie person so i don't have a favorite movie i really don't um but i'm sure if you ask my sister she should have plenty oh but i do have a favorite series and that was the how to get away with murder if that counts as a movie then sure Mm. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I'll start with my friends. I think they're doing the most in the YouTube industry. Um, Timmy Matrosha, she's a very good friend of mine. She's absolutely one of my favorite YouTubers because she's so real. She produces content that, yo, guys, like she literally goes and speaks about things that we as young people you know speak about when we are group or wherever or when we were ever we're in spaces that requires to you know um take our thoughts so she's very smart in that sense um another favorite youtuber of mine would have to be the couple ken and Diera, the, the couple from america um locally because they are your know, like an epitome of what young people would want to be as a couple and professionally it would be Uzola and Babalwa at least for now um mainly because they like a couple that yo guys yo like if you know where I come from Mizamayetu you'd know that Uzola didn't, really did not have it easy and you know and now she's got this beautiful woman who is intelligent who is a family woman who is so driven by her spirituality so it's just like they're a good couple and it basically yeah those are my favorite youtubers and of course my friend vicky as well she's also a great youtuber i think she produces a lot of great content check them out guys um do you speak any languages and how well Yes, I speak English, I speak Tosa, I speak Zulu, I speak a bit of Afrikaans. I studied French, but I don't know if I speak it well. <laughs> Are you single or taken? I am taken. <laughs> what is your idea of a dream date? anything at a wine farm actually like i yeah take me to a wine farm i i, I just want to go to a place where there's not a lot of people and a lot of noise 
not even take me let's go actually because i don't get taken to dates we go to dates how long was your longest relationship a year and a couple of months how would you describe your fashion sense i don't have a fashion sense guys i wear whatever whenever however if the weather is hot i'll wear shorts typical if it's cold i'll wear warm very typical i really do not have a fashion sense what is your go-to hairstyle? I have dreadlocks. <laughs> so anything that will allow the dreadlocks to be out of my face, that's my go-to hairstyle. How many siblings do you have? <laughs> A lot. <coughs> I've got eight from my, my dad's <coughs> and three from my mom's. What is your go-to fast food order? Chicken nuggets from like D. Do you use a PC or a Mac? I use both. I use a PC for work and a Mac right now for personal stuff. Your most memorable childhood your most memorable childhood memory. Um I think it was when my sister when my sister was going to her friend's birthday and they took me along. So my sister, my big sister is seven years older than me, and they took me with them to um the friend's birthday lunch thing. Um, yeah, I think I was about seven. I love that day. Like I still have a very clear memory of that day because I was like, Oh, my sister loves me, she takes me to places. So I don't know why I don't have this thing around me. What are your morning and evening routines? So my morning routine basically is me waking up, cleaning my room if it's dirty, if I'm in a good mood, making a smoothie or, yeah, I generally have smoothies in the morning. Um, and then just coming to my PC to check if I've got emails and start with work really, obviously brushing your teeth as well. I don't, I'm not very consistent with the face routine, but I try. And in the evenings, I honestly, right now because i'm not doing anything and because we are all on holidays with studies i basically watch tv have dinner go upstairs sleep watch youtube learn more about youtube and yeah try and think yeah oh and i burn in bed or late in the evenings because i'm just like trying to get rid of any demons that try and come into my bad in, 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 like give me bad dreams do you have any bad habits yes and my partner hates this habit that's my bad habit i chew like a pig i can't chew with my mouth closed it's very difficult for me so that's really my bad habit but also i don't know if it's a bad habit now because people can make money out of that um and i'm obsessed with asmrs so I don't know if it's a bad habit. It's a bad good habit because you can make money out of it. It's not like smoking. Tell us, and this is the last question. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um, I've got social anxiety. People don't know this, except if you're like a close person. But yeah, I have social anxiety. Um, and most times I tend to... I tend to overthink what people what people say and, and and why people look at me sometimes and I think that's because I'm just like you know got a lot of social anxiety but yeah guys that was the last question um thank you so much for watching guys why is there a flag here thank you so much for watching um please make sure that you comment like subscribe share this channel so we can all grow and yeah, let me know what you guys would like me to do in the next video. Um, I'm trying so hard to be consistent because I'm like, I've been away for so long and it's because I didn't have a proper camera. Yeah, so like now I'm trying to work the magic to grow this channel. So please make sure that you share and that yeah, you allow us to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.